Anishkan Soham. All are present. Akshaya. Anish. Uh, yeah, Kumar. Uh, Shoaib has uh, joined. Uh, Kanishk uh, will be late today, so we can start off with the session. No problem. Go ahead. Oh. Yeah, uh, okay. Kumar, like Akshay and uh, Shoyab are the uh, participant and uh, Sunita is uh, like Max Online Coordinator. This is the Max Online okay. mine. Okay? Okay, sure. Uh, correct. Go ahead. Okay, very good. Right. Um, if, if you have any questions, just uh, ping to Sunita. She will reply to you because I am moving okay. to another meeting. Okay? Okay, sure. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Okay. Sure, thanks. If you have any question, just uh, any, any emergency, just ping me on my mobile. Okay. Right. Go ahead. Thank you. Have yeah. a nice day. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Okay. Um, Akshay and Shahab, uh, have you got the uh, complete agenda document? If not, uh, I am going to show you anyway uh, the complete agenda. You have it? Yes, we have it. Okay, very good. So let me, but I'm going to share it anyway. Uh, first, I'm going to go over the agenda first. Do you see my screen? Akshay, do you see my screen? Agenda? Yeah, yeah, I'm able to see your okay. screen. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like, I'll be asking a few more times uh, because I just want to make sure that uh, you guys see what I see, you know. So just. Uh, once uh, everything is, uh, you know, smooth. Until then, I'll, I'll just, okay. I'll just make sure that, uh, you know, you yeah, see. Yeah, that's right. fine. Okay. Um, so this is the complete agenda that I'm going, going to go over uh, before we start the uh, other uh, uh, screens. So the thing is, uh, this agenda basically covers the entire uh, contract module. So first, I'll go, go over. Uh, the first one is contract process overview. So what I'm going to discuss in this, what is the scope of the contract? What, what is the functionality? What does it do basically? You know what I mean? Contract means what does it do in the, uh, when it comes to PeopleSoft uh, uh, order to cash environment. And also what is the life cycle of a contract? You know, where, where is the start, where is it ends basically? And then uh, setting up of a simple contract in this, I'm going to basically create a one uh, um, you guys hear clearly I, I see some kind of disturbance from other side of things right oh the disturbance is there but I'm not sure from whose end it is so from this side there is nothing I, I don't move anything um, so Windows, everything is closed. So, uh, what you can, yeah, see if there is any mouse or anything that we are moving. Some kind of a disturbance I see. Okay, all right. So, and then the setting up of a simple contract. Other day we started off with the creating and adding contract. We will do that as a as a part of this step. Uh, so. Anyway, uh, and then the next step would be uh, setting up general control tables that uh, part of this contract. You need, we need to set up set up uh, set up uh, some of the control tables in order for us to enter a contract. Example: the product and things like that. So then I will uh, talk about contract integration integration points. Where does, where does the contract integrates with? For example. People saw projects, people saw billing, and people saw AR. Yeah. That day and today, see the difference. Is the next join? Who is the join? Okay. All right. So the next, I'm going to talk about the contact integration points. As I mentioned, uh, um, where does it con uh, integrate with other applications like 
because of projects, billing and AR. And then establishing installation options. What are the installation options that that we need to set up? Like defaults, things like that. And also establishing user preferences. And what are the defaults that should be populated when, uh, when a user is creating a contract? Things like that. And then uh, defining contract statuses. And then defining contract types. And then contract classes, classifications. Next, we'll be discussing setting up billing and revenue processing attributes. And in that, I'll be explaining what is the tiered processing, pricing, and setting up of milestones, defining rate set and rate plan. And then the next one would be setting up contract accounting. So we need to set up uh, the accounting distribution details and also set up accounting rules. So we'll be going over that in that section. And then setting up the product. Uh, in that I'll be uh, discussing, uh, explaining, uh, defining a product uh, um, and also setting up a product group and setting up a product pricing. That will be used when you enter a contract, contract line. That you need to uh, include a product for each and every contract line. The next I'll be going over defining revenue bill plan template. And in that, tables of uh, contract billing and revenue plans will be discussed and uh, we'll identify billing and revenue methods and then defining revenue bill plan template. And then applying and then in that uh, I define billing and revenue method and then we'll define revenue bill plan template applying billing revenue plan templates to products. The next step would be creating contracts. So this is where we will actually enter the contract. Given the fact that we discussed all the other details that are part of contract, like product and other like rate plan, things like that, milestones, things like that. So at this point, you would know what you are entering basically. When you are entering, when you are creating a contract, you would know what details you are entering, you would know what, what that would affect when you actually create a contract and then when you actually run a, a CWBI process and what it does, what it is going to do when the, when the process, uh, when it runs, what bills it's going to create and uh, things like that. <coughs> and then as part of creating a contract, we'll be adding contract lines to contract. Uh, updating contract specific milestones and then uh, adding contract lines account distribution requirements which will be sent over to the general ledger. And the next one will be preparing contract for billing. So what we need to do like uh, we need to uh, manage the bill plan components, manage the contract milestone if we need to be changing, uh, modifying the bill plans for billing and then managing contract billing. So in this I'll be explaining uh, what is the contract billing process flow. Uh, how does the uh, billing information gets created from contract and uh, the process flow, the interface and what happens after that. You know once the billing information has been sent over to billing what happens after the billing. Yeah, it's a quick overview in that, but we'll see the detailed overview when we do the billing. So, and then after that, uh, performing billing interface process, which will actually insert into the billing permanent tables, be a head and be a line. And then uh, processing billable transaction for your contract. The next one is managing contract revenue. So all the uh, billing that you are, you know, generating has to go, has to be sent over to GL for tracking the revenue. So I'll be explaining preparing contract revenue processing, execute revenue generation process, and then reconcile the revenue to see if there's any mismatch or whatever. 
and then managing the contract. So once you let's say you enter the contract and then after that you need to manage it, let's say amend the contract, you know, change, you need to change the price or you need to change the quantity or whatever. You can do that using the manage contract. And then uh, perform billing and revenue reversal. The next one is managing renewal processing. So once uh, you enter a contract and then you process the billing and uh, the the actual end date as uh, after the <coughs> end date, if you want to renew a particular line, contract line, you can still renew it using this method. Um, then in that I will be discussing setting up renewal plan template and then the processing the renewals. And then next one will be journal generator. So once you complete your uh, <coughs> billing, like you run your billing and uh, see the billing. After that, you need to send the uh, billing uh, accounting information to uh, general ledger. So it will be generate. I mean, running the general generator process. So I'll be discussing that in this section. The last one not will be to discuss uh, any delivered contract reports. And that's kind of a overall complete agenda that I have for the contract model. Any any questions about the agenda so far? So Kumar, we will be discussing also uh, the contract adjustment and the renewal. Yeah, renewal is uh, managing renewal processing, right? And then uh, adjusting the contract with managing contract, creating amendments and things like that. Okay, okay. 11 and 12. Okay. So this is the um, complete agenda we will be discussing throughout our contract session. Uh, next I am going to go over this scope of the contract contract um, I have the word document of the um, detailed uh, presentation of this uh, I'm thinking who I sent but I am going to share it and then at the end of the session I will send the document also to you but for now you can uh, I'm going to share it and then you can see that now Yeah, this document I'm going to send it over at the end of the session. Uh, you will you will get this one actually. So the first agenda, the scope of the contract. Okay, <clears throat> basically you know what like uh, um, what does this contract model you know what is the functionality of it? What does it do, right? So the, this is high level of things uh, that we can do using contract. So we can maintain the contract statuses and then uh, products, maintain products, milestones, meaning like you know what uh, what services and when and how it should be built kind of uh, details that will capture as part of milestone. Products is like uh, what is the exact service that we are doing? Are we you know doing any project or implementation things like that and related uh, details and then uh, the integration to uh, the other models how it is integrated uh, what models are integrates that's what it speaks to and then contracts plus classifications what are the um, you know type of contract classification of contracts are available and then revenue billing plan templates it can define we can define a templates uh, for revenue and billing plan and use it when we create billing and revenue plans uh, which will basically uh, tell which tells you uh, how the billing and when the billing that needs to be created and bill uh, revenue plans what what is the uh, revenue amount uh, the what uh, department or what what are the what are the chart fields that uh, the bill will be 
uh, build basically and send it over to generator. And uh, it has a capability of you know prepayments, all the prepayments are handled, and uh, amendments. So contract you can amend a contract uh, if required, and then the renewals. So you can renew a contract, and then the billing summarization. You can basically summarize the billing before uh, send it over to the billing. Uh, the, you can define uh, the contract lines in a such a way that the summarized bill send over the contract. And the revenue forecasting, you can inquire about the revenue forecasting, what would be my billing for next month or next year, depending on the uh, contract setup. And then the general generator, um, you, can, you can use general generator to um, generate the approvals and things like that. And the next is the inquiry. You can inquire contract information using contracts. Reporting, some of the reporting capabilities that we have in contract module. And then also contract has multi-currency capability uh, and credit adjustments. So this is kind of a scope. This is what we can do using control, uh, sorry, contract module. So this, this is what tells you, like, you know, whatever I discussed so far, this is what uh, the scope of the contract. So it defines the products and services 